And you can appreciate here that there is some flattening of the bilateral globes. You can see that instead of being the perfectly round shape of the globe, you can see where the optic nerve heads sort of insert. You can see that it's flattened. Here's another view of the same patient, just one slice off. You can see that there's some flattening right there, as well as the, the optic nerve sheaths, which look like they are probably a little dilated distally as well. You can see that there's the optic nerve, which is a little darker in signal, and you can see that there's brighter T2 signal surrounding that optic nerve, representing the CSF. So the CSF space is uh, sort of distended distally there. And here's just an, other imaging examples of optic nerve sheath dilatations in other patients with proven IIH. You can see that there are varying looks to it. Uh, and just a quick note on optic nerve sheath dilatation. Uh, there's a lot of literature out there that goes through uh, certain measurement thresholds for what would be considered dilatation or not. Um, there's some variation to it. So in the end of the day, uh, practically speaking, we'll, a lot of times we'll call this qualitatively. But just to give you an idea, uh, a lot of the, the papers out there sort of mark five to six uh, millimeters in diameter as sort of the upper limits of normal threshold for, for optic nerve sheaths. So just to, keep, just to keep that in mind. 